Welcome back to Reptiles and Research. So you've probably seen that your Be The Dragon's acting a little bit differently right now. And you've looked online and you've read a little bit about information, but you're not really sure as to what it looks like and how it starts and how it starts in your Be The Dragon. So let's go into some of the signs of brumation. So we're coming out of the fall, we're going into winter now, and our Be The Dragons are starting to slow down and they might be just acting a little bit more lethargic and less energetic. Your be the dragon might be going to the cool end and just sitting and sitting there for long periods of time, sometimes even days on end. Whether they have their eyes open or awake, this withdrawal and this overall reduction of activity is a good sign they're probably going into brumation. Another sign of this is an also a reluctance to bask. Now they might spend the entire time in that cool side, sat in that one spot and not really moving, and having no real desire to go and bask and warm up, even though it's provided. You may also find that your bearded dragon starts to sleep for long periods of time, or is just constantly asleep tucked away somewhere in the cool end of your enclosure. Now this isn't very like black and white. This doesn't mean they're going to hunger down and they sleep for five months and never wake up. They might be a bit up and down because in the wild what they'll do is they'll be in a brumation burrow they've, they've dug out or they'll be under a log brumating asleep in the colder days and they might have a random sunny day in the wild and they'll come up and they'll just bask in the sun a little bit. Just have a little bit of a bask and then as the night time comes and the temperature drops they go back in and if it's cold from there on in the next few days they go back into their sleep and they'll do that. They will not really sleep the entire time, it's more like a torpor like state where it's a bit up and down but for the majority they are very low in energy, very motionless and sleeping for a lot of the time. Another major sign that your bearded dragon might be going into this brumation like state is that they have a reluctance to eat food or even like no desire for food that you put in front of them whatsoever. My bearded dragon goes absolutely nuts for like plantain and dandelion and just for the purpose of this video I put a piece of plantain in front of her no real reaction whatsoever. She wasn't interested. She's getting ready to go to sleep and hunker down. Another sign of brumation in your bearded dragon is like a lack of alertness and a very slow response to things around them. So when your bearded dragon's fully awake in the rest of the year and like you walk past or you do something with your hand, they might be like, and look. Whereas when they're slow in this brumation like state, they might just keep their head still and just watch you through their eyes, but don't really move much. Or if they do turn to look, they're like, it's a complete different behaviour and you can see that they're acting very like sleepy. Another big sign that your bearded dragon might be going into brumation is they get real pissy if you try to touch them. <laughs> so my bearded dragon, if during this time if I try to handle her or move her around, she gets really, really, really angry. Like she'll puff up, she'll turn sideways and she'll be like, meh. <laughs> she, won't, she won't let me pick her up and she'll threaten to bite and she'll puff up with her beard and she put up a big display and she's like leave me alone I'm not in that sort of mood to be touched if your bearded dragon is unusually like uncooperative when it comes to handling that can be a sign that they just want to be left alone to like sleep now all of this can be happening like out in the open or it can just be in a hide. You might find a bearded dragon goes into a hide, curls up and doesn't come out for weeks on end or even days on end. In the case of my bearded dragon, she kind of shuffles between like a log that's beneath her shelf and then up on the shelf just to be sat up high. For the entirety of October and coming up to like halfway in November now, she hasn't moved from that end. She's either sat on that shelf motionless or she sat on the, sh the branch beneath it motionless. Another sign is you could tell they're awake but they sit there with their eyes shut. So at the moment, at the moment, my bearded dragon's doing it right now. She sat on that shelf at the front. She sat there. She sat upwards because I disturbed her, but she's also sat there with her eyes shut. And it's this sort of like sleepiness behavior that they're expressing, that they're expressing, but they're not actually like asleep asleep. It's almost just like they're awake, but they're like lethargic and slow and they're going into like asleep again. And I think one of the other biggest signs is my bearded dragon always wants to come out into the room and roam around. And she'll actually be at the glass and scrabble to tell me to open a door. And that's the sign that she's asking to come out. And I let her out. She goes and does her thing. And she goes back into her enclosure herself. Since she started a lot of these signs, doesn't move, doesn't ask, 
is disinterested in people and me or exploration or anything else other than just being tucked away in a corner and going into sleep. So you may be wondering, how can I get them to stop this? I don't want them to go into this formation. I want them to be awake so I can enjoy them. The answer is, you can't. If your bearded dragon wants to brewmate, it's going to brewmate. And what you need to do is be there as their steward and to guide them into that, into the safest, most appropriate way for them. And to do that, you're going to want to watch my full guide to bearded dragon brewmation on this channel. If you're into Beer the Dragon content and you want lots of guides on how to look after Beer the Dragons, then this channel is the place. Subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next video.